Hey Clashers, Pekka Smash can still be quite strong overall, especially if you combine troops to make up for the weakness of others. So for example in this army we have the golden for a tank and we have boulder for the splash especially into the second row and then we have as well the super wizards in this army to make sure that we can take down possible defending lava hounds and and and. So I would say we were just going to go in, I will show you some attacks and hopefully I can display how powerful Pekka Smash still is. So we have a nice diamond shaped base. Let's take a look at how we can take this out. We have the possibility of a lock launcher. That's for sure a chance to go for. What else can we do? That is the question. What else can we do on this one? Um, we could go from the other side with the lock launcher. I feel like that might be a good way to approach this base. So let's do the warden walk over here. We obviously at the healers. Hopefully out of range of that air defense. That should be... No problem, we're going to see in just a second as soon as the owl is going down and yes, it's out of range so that's perfect for us. Then we can try to dive into this bottom side with our entire push with the lock launch and everything and use then the king and so on to funnel this far right side. That is the plan, that is the idea of this attack. The question now though is, what is the pathing looking like of my warden? Can we take down this expo or can we not? That's the big question. For now it looks like we will skip that, which is not the end of the world. But still, we have to now get this Warden back. So I think this Gold might be fine to take down. But then we're going to use the Queen to get him back. King. This one. And now everything in here. Like that. Like that. Okay, now let's freeze this. Because, uh, well, we want to make sure our Golem is staying alive. And then all of those loons in to make sure our healers are staying alive. That is the nice thing we are looking for. One packet to the outside, which is totally fine, to be honest. Now we, though, have to make sure that the troops are staying inside all of this come on Pekka do a great job of funneling that would be nice and yes we're opening into the core there we go hopefully now the troops are going into the core that would be amazing but no the king is going to the outside which is not ooh, vulnerability maybe now that's not the end of the world and now the question is where is my queen going that's the important thing and she's going for the core so let's use the jump spell over here let's use another rage over there we have quite a lot of healers going to the outside which is which is fine because we just need to make sure that we're taking down this tunnel with our small dive which we have over here. Let's make sure the queen is going to get the tunnel. That would be great. And with that we should be able to take it down. So that's looking really nice. Maybe another wall break. Well actually. Oh there's open. This sneaky. This sneaky rat. Okay okay. That's uh, annoying. But we have now the royal champion. Can we use the royal champion to take down this entire back side? That is the big question. We can't really start with archers in the corners. Everything. The healers are doing a great job. The question now is, are we in a time problem? That is the big question. Do we need to rush in? And I feel like at this point, yes, I think we sadly have to. So let's use the Royal Champ over here. And let's hope that this is not going to be a problem. This is some wizards, maybe a baby dragon even, to somehow get some more value in. Royal Champ ability. Take down some of those and now freeze. Come on, come on. This is not supposed to be a time fail, guys. The scatter has to go down. But that... Oh, no. Maybe maybe Lassie can finish this. I think Lassie can finish this. Even if the Royal Champ dies. Lassie is being the MVP if this is not going to be a time battle. Come on, Lassie is getting that scatter out of the way. And with that, nothing in the corners. Last two buildings are going down. And this means our first three-star with this strategy versus this base with a nice locked on to dive. Even though the troops were not 100% going as I was kind of intended to. But we're going to dive into this next attack. Next attack and what do we have on this one? I am not really sure how I would call this base to be honest. Is it like an anti 3 star base? Is it? It's something in between I would call it. I think it's something in between which makes this even more interesting to attack. So what could we do on this one? Um... That's actually a really good question. I'm not 100% sure how I want to approach this. Maybe Warden Walk for the Scatter. I feel like the Warden Walk for the Scatter looks pretty solid. The reason being is because we can then walk into this channel, I think, and then jump over here and some troops should go for the town. I'm, I'm pretty confident, okay? So the wall break we need is over here to get the king into that compartment. To make the push even stronger for the king, we need the siege barracks to just give him a bit more power because I feel like Otherwise, I'm not 100% sure if that king is going to make it through the entire compartment. That is what we need. At the same time, though, we can add the wizard to support our 
uh, warden a little bit because this warden has to take down the scatter. The scatter shot is out of reach for our troops if they follow this channel. So that is really important. And just for time purposes, we can rage him just to make sure that time is not going to be a big factor for us. Now at this point, things I think, I would say, I would argue, are looking really solid. So we can use that king. We can use that siege barracks as well. And now we can get our... That guy back. Let's see the witches, the golem, the Pekka, and now everything into this channel. Come on, come on. Let's spam everything into this channel. And then we can use the jump and just... Oh, that was a lot of damage. The king ability. Now the rage, the jump. Let's see, can we open some... Oh, that wall break is amazing. That wall break is incredible. Okay, okay. So far, so good. Let's use the poison over here. Let's use the warden ability to protect our troops. Now at this point, I think we are looking solid. Troops are walking in. Another rage over here. We can freeze the back end with that queen together. We can use the rage at the top side to push everything back inside. Now at this point, another rage in just a second to take down the town, hopefully. And things are looking really solid. The healers are coming back to make sure our queen everything is pushing through. That's nice. Let's give it this another rage. We have the invisibility spell. Healers are going somewhere different, which is totally fine because we have that queen taking down the town hall. I think we do not need to use the invisibility because the queen is running into the town hall poison anyway. So there's no reason for us to really try to put more effort into saving her. Um, now the wizard on the outside. We can wall break our troops into the later stages and we still have the headhunter which we can use. But I think this looks pretty solid. Virtual ability. Okay, okay, there's the headhunter. Only time might be an issue, but I think maybe with some archers. We have the wizard. I want to use the wizard on the back end. Oh, but time is running low. Time is running really low, guys. Oh, no. Come on, air defense has to go time down. Let's do it like this. Okay, the archer tower switched, which was really unfortunate. Come on, come on. You have to survive on the outside, guys. You have to survive over here. Invisibility spell to protect everything. Eight seconds. No way, no way, don't tell me this is going to be a time for 4, 2, 1, and... It looked so good, but we came so close. Unfortunate time fail, but the third one is going to work for sure. We let the warden walk, uh, the, we kept the warden walk alive for just a little bit too long, and that caused us to time fail, but we're going to have a third attack. And this one, we're going to make that count. Okay, we have another teaser base with all of those expos, all of those heroes surrounding the town hall. That is a never a good thing, I would say, because those are quite risky sometimes um, to attack. But the big, big plus side of this one is that most of the time with all of the expos defending the town hall, this means the flame flare has incredible, incredible value. So we try to find a nice spot for the... For the flame finger at the same time we have to place the warden to create some pathing that's the important thing so let's see how we can place the flame flinger i think this should be out of range perfect so the flame flinger is going to hopefully take down the entire top side and gives us the pathing we need then towards the town hall yes it's somewhat risky but at the same at the same time i mean with having such a great pathing um, option with the flame thing on the other side. I think we have to take it, right? So, first off, let's see how we can do that. I should have maybe started the warden way down below to actually smash into this compartment. I don't know why I started him so far up because the flame thing will take some time, um, which is fine. The flame thing will take some time, that, but that should be okay. The question now, though, is how do we approach this? Um, with the warden kind of taking away the buildings which we want to go for with our smash. So, yeah, we're really not placing the warden smartly, but whatever, it should be okay. Let's now use the baby dragon and use the king to walk all the way around, okay? Like, that's the goal. Flameflinger is still doing his thing, okay? The Flameflinger can still do his thing. Um, even if Mortis is over there, we can use, like, we have different options to tank for that. But I think at this point we really need to speed things up because this is getting kind of problematic. So let's charge in at the top side. Um, let's use the Pekka to lure over uh, everything. Next wall break. The super wizards in all of the bowlers. All of the loons because, well, black mines could be everywhere. And now next wall break is going there. That's still fine, hopefully. Um, and then we just have to rely on our troops just finding the right path, okay? That's the important thing. 
So maybe the rage now, maybe the poison because of the defending hound. The warden is taking a lot of damage. We can use the warden ability because of the scatter shot. We can a forester, but at the same time, look at this path in which the flame flinger has created. Our troops have no other choice than actually going slowly but surely towards their town. And right now, at this point, we just have to always just keep them raged up. Just make sure that all of the troops are raged up, especially the heaters. That's quite important. Now the royal champion at the bottom side to path everything even better through the jump spell. We have still plenty of freezes. We can use that now. The backhand heroes are going to be a big threat, but I think that should be fine. And now obviously the next thing is the um, is the time, but if another right, I think there was already a rage, but I'm not sure. Royal Champ at the bottom side doing great work at the top side. We can add those for time and just keep raging those through. With the healers being in rage, we should have enough power to even overpower the backhand um, town of poison. We can still use the invisibility spell if you want to, and that should be a nice three star for us to finish the day. So you can see the power you just have to stay calm um when you're entering on the other side of the town hall just make sure that your troops have no other choice than going towards the town hall and this allows you as well to delay the jump spell quite a lot this is really crucial and with that you can as well still play this pekka smash which is still viable and well let me know if it, if it works for you the link is as always down below in the description of this video thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys back tomorrow with another video